Hi there, this is Gary from TroTech Australia. This is an instructional video on how to use the TroTech T660 dielectric moisture meter. Let's have a look. Okay, here's our TroTech T660. So, this is a self calibrating unit. You want to make sure you hold it down low. When you turn it on you never want to hold it up here because it'll calibrate the moisture content of your hand so this is the power button on the right press the power button and always i'm holding it up here just so it's calibrating okay now we've calibrated okay so what we want to do is we want to have a look at the menu so to touch the menu, this is the menu button here, we hold the menu, and then this one here enables you to tell to, to do the dullness. So wherever you want to you want to you want to agree with something, and this is the brightness back up here, you want to hold the tick button. Okay? So menu again. Holding the menu down, press the tick button. Now, what we want to do here is we want to change it to concrete. One, two. So zero is building materials, one is screeds and grout, and two is concrete. So it'll have the number two up here on the left hand side. Then it'll have a zero, zero. Okay. I just change that from your actual to your average to your minimum to your maximum to your hold. So what do you mean by hold? It holds the number here, right? And then whenever I want to get a reading, I press the tick button. And then I press the tick button again. Press the tick button again. Press the tick button again. But then I, I've got this holding. It's taking photos. Okay. So we'll go back to actual. Now. What we want to do here is I want to show you the couple of variances. You've got a volume mass setting, which is the top number, and you also can change it to CM, which is a calcium carbide equivalent, which simply means it's a test that they do with concrete where it's in a gas cylinder where they want to get it to 75%. So... This is an equivalent. So this particular moisture meter is going down 40 mil into the concrete. So you want that number there on the top to be under 2. So when that number is under 2, it's well, it's 2, but 75% um, relative humidity in the concrete down 40 mil. Okay? So when I want to test the concrete, I'm holding it here. I've got a concrete slab here, just a bit of a concrete block. Right, might show you a number here. So we're pretty dry. Okay, so that top number is 0.2, it's not even reading, it's really dry. It's a dry concrete block, right? But the top number you want to read, read under 2. The bottom number is relative. Now, if I change this CM and change it to a volume mass setting, you'll find that the number is going to be higher. The number, if it's on a volume mass setting, should be under 3.4. So we'll go back to CM. Now, the other the zero number, zero, zero, the bottom number is actually a building setting. So you can actually have two, concrete on the top, building on the bottom. So it's a relative scale. So it's a relative scale. So it can basically... Um, you know, you go and take an unaffected area, affected area, unaffected area, affected area. It's a digits out of 200. It's a relative scale. Okay. So that's pretty much how to, how to, how to use the meter. We have a quick guide there as well you can have a look at. But um, hope you enjoyed this video. Any further questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Thanks so much. Bye.